I grew up in a, a town just south of Dallas, Duncanville, Texas. You know, not small town, 40,000 people, 5A school. I did your typical, you know, kid sport thing growing up, soccer, football, baseball. Uh, I got into basketball when I was in the fourth grade because I started getting bigger than everybody. I was 6'11 when I was a sophomore in high school and about the same size I am now, 7'2. I uh, was lucky enough to be uh, in a situation where I got to go play in the NBA for 11 years with uh, Utah Jazz. Stockton snap pass to Isley, gives it up to Ostertag. And Utah moves to within one. The disadvantage of being seven foot is it is seven foot. I rode, I rode it and took it for granted that I was seven foot and, and didn't put in the work and the effort. To, and I think the one thing that I really learned more than anything when I got done playing was that however hard you think you're working, somebody's working harder. And that's, that's kind of the attitude I try to take now with what I do is, uh, is to try to try to push myself to do the little extra things uh, when need be for what I'm doing to be better at whatever I, whatever as I'm trying to accomplish. I try to be the best person, the best husband I can be. I've made some mistakes. I'll probably still make mistakes. Uh, I, I can say that I've got lucky with my wife. She's wonderful. I really count my blessings every day that I got her in my life. She pushes herself to be the best at what she does, and I really. If you'll just look around the stuff she does, she really does a good job with it. We came here to this little town and, and I was perfectly happy out here on my little 90 acres and my cows and all this stuff. And we came out to this little town and she restored the town a little bit and, and, and we put together this group and we've all become a sort of a, li a little family out here. I try not to go looking for the spotlight anymore. Uh, sometimes it finds me. My sister is a diabetic, has been since she was a child and just got into a situation where her kidneys were shutting down and I'm like, well, I got two good ones. Let's just like make this happen. And it's, and it's really how it was for me. It was just nonchalant. Like, you know, she's like, hey, would you think about giving me your kidney? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. We'll do it tomorrow. I don't care. And I can't even tell you how long ago it was. That's how much it just, it's not that, it is. It is a big deal, but I didn't want to make it a big deal. And she was my sister. And uh, so like I said, I said, I had two good ones. Why not? So we went and did all the tests, went to the hospital early in the summer, and took mine out and put it in her, and there we are. And that's it. I mean, that's just the way I look at it. Now I do I have a tattoo on my arm that, that kind of commemorates it a little bit. It has her favorite flowers around it, and it says, and a kind of a ribbon around it that says, a kidney saved my, life, uh, my sister's life. It was mine, and that's it. I don't look at myself much as an NBA player anymore. You know, there's, there's, there's very few people that recognize me anymore. I try to love my wife with everything I got and, and try not to screw up and do silly stuff. And I try to be the best father I can be. I don't get angry much. I'm very sensitive. Here I am in small town America. I love it. I go outside and sit on my mower, listen to my music, mow my yard, get on a tractor for hours on end, and I feed my cows. I can't complain, man.